Welcome back folks. So what we got for you today? Yes, we're going to be making some bath buns, an original recipe from donkeys years ago. So let's get straight down to the recipe. And for your recipe, you want 300 grams of strong white flour, 21 grams of fresh yeast, 38 grams of caster sugar, 45 grams of unsalted butter or white shortening, 138 milliliters of whole milk, or you can just use straightforward waterized milk, 28 milliliters of egg, two grams of salt, two grams of bread improver, 141 grams of mixed fruit, and peel is an option, and also seven grams of bun spice. Now you're better off using the bun spice, which is an oil-based product, which is really, really good. And for your top of your bath buns, you also want some egg wash, which is one egg. And if you mix some water with it, that gives you a nice wash. And also you need some rock sugar. And this is the brand I've got. And there is lots of other brands on the market, but this is the one I'm particularly using because it's the one I've managed to obtain. Right, we're now gonna be mixing our dough. First, we add in all our dry ingredients. Yeast milk, egg. Now we're gonna mix this in the machine for nine minutes. Halfway through, we're gonna check it just to see if it's okay. It might need some more water or it might need some more flour. And the last minute, we're gonna be adding our fruit in. If you've got a three speed machine, mix this round for one minute, then knock it onto second speed for eight minutes and the last one minute is going to be mixing your fruit in so we'll just check our dough yeah that that does look a bit tight but it's not really just give that a bit of a scrape then you'll realize then it's not that bad And just carry on mixing that then. The dough's got one more minute to go. So we'll add our fruit in. Now that has actually already got the mixed spice in it. And now we'll give that one minute. Just, we're just turning it in. We don't want to crunch all the fruit together in the dough. We just want to keep it nice. And that's it. So all we need to do is put this into a bowl. Now we're gonna leave it there for around about five minutes just to start working. I have oiled with this with some prep spray. The link is in the description if you wanna buy some. So we'll just cover this over. All right, this is our dough ready. So what I've already previously weighed this off, this is a pound in weight, okay? and this is 800 grams so what we're going to be doing we're going to be splitting this up so i'll split that in the middle so that's another eight ounces now i know this is old school folks but this is the way it's going to be so what we're going to be doing with this one is splitting the middle again and again okay so these are two ounces each Now, as these are your bath buns, they want to be round, but slightly flat. So what we're gonna be doing is mold them round, like this. Okay. Now you can do it like this if you want. Or you can go like this. Either way, you just wanna get them nice and round. Well, I'm going to go like this and I'm in that part here and here is where I'm putting the dough and then basically I'm going like this but I'm pushing it into the table or if you want to do it one hand like that for the other hand so what I need to do is sort of we're going to roll these out a little bit so they're sort of around about this size okay you can get away with it, a bit of flour if you want to. 
and just push them down like that. Okay, and just flatten them like that if you want to. In fact, it might be easier for some of you folk if you don't have a rolling pin. Just flatten them out a bit. That's all you need to do. I usually use it in a rolling pin and do it on a big tray. But today we'll do it this way. Okay, just flatten out like this. We don't want them as, as low as a bat. And that's your bath buns. So we'll just go and get an oil tray and we'll put this straight onto a tray. So what we're gonna be doing with these now, we're gonna wash the tops over with egg wash. And that's my egg wash. And that's one egg mixed with some water. Now we'll just egg wash the tops. Because we want them to be nice and glazed. That's the idea. We don't want them sticky like a hot cross bun, but they want to be nice and glazed. And then you just get your sugar. This is hard sugar. They're like rocks. See, they're like rocks. You could almost do it with sugar cubes, but the ones for coffee and just sprinkle some in the middle. You can put them while you like, really. There's no rule, really. If you've got a short sugar tooth, then this is the one for you. And there we go. So now we're gonna pop these into our prover. Now they're gonna prove for around about 45 minutes. So they're gonna come up to about like that, roundabout. It's now time to put your oven on. Your oven temperature wants to be around about 200 Celsius, and that's a fan assisted. Now in the old ovens, it's around about 400 Fahrenheit, but then that's a deck oven without a fan. We'll just have a look at our bath buns just to see how they're doing. Oh yeah, they won't be far away. Well, our bath buns are ready, so we're gonna get them into the oven. Now we're gonna be baking these for around about 10 minutes, give or take. They may take a little bit longer, depends on your oven. So what I would do is put them in the oven, give them five minutes and then turn them round. And they'll give you some idea of how long it's gonna take. So we'll get them straight into the oven. Right, our bath buns are ready. We'll get them out of the oven. Oh, scrummy bath buns. Mm -mm -mm. God, I can smell that aroma from here. Once they come out of the oven, what you need to be doing is getting them off the tray and getting them onto a wire. Now in the bakery, obviously I've got a machine which I'm molding them up and obviously it's more controlled area. But this is at home and this is, I mean, if you cut this resort, you're right there, folks. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget to check out the description because that is where you're gonna find your recipe and lots of other playlists of more recipes. And we'll catch you again on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters.